Hello guys, in this tutorial we'll be guiding you on how to auto-tune in Audacity. We have the link to the website where we'll be downloading the auto-tune plugin in order to use for our Audacity. So here is the website and we'll have it in the description for you to download easily. Now when you click the link, you're going to scroll down and select whether it's Windows, Mac or Linux. Now once it's downloaded, you're going to extract the zip file and you're going to find two files. You're going to see gsnap.dll and the second one. Our interest is in the gsnap.dll. Then next, you're going to locate your Audacity file folder. So go to this PC, select Windows C, and then select Program Files. Now under Program Files, you're going to select Audacity. Then you have your Audacity right here, but we're going to click on Plugins. Then go to the gsnap, where we have the downloaded gsnap plugin, right click on this, copy, and then paste it right here. You will see the gsnap.dll file right there. After that's done, you're going to make sure to restart your Audacity if it was open already, but if it was not, you can open it, and then go to Effect, then go to Plugin Manager, then click on Rescan. Now after rescanning it, you should see gsnap. We're going to scroll down, and here you can see the gsnap plugin right there. Press on OK, and now we have our track. We're going to make a record. Good times, good times will always be. So once you have your recording, you're going to select the area you're interested in adding your auto-tune, then go to Effect, and then locate the G-Snap, and then make your settings according to your preferences. You're going to have to play with the knobs in order to get the right tone for your auto-tune. Whether it's, the, whether it's in the detection, the correction phase, or the MIDI. For example, in the correction, we can move this to 100, and the attack, we could take it really low, and leave the vibrato to the lowest. And then you can have a preview. Good times, good times, will always be... Of course, you can see it needs some tuning, but with these knobs, you can make it better. This is how to auto-tune on Audacity. So this is how to get the Autotune plugin, have it installed on your Audacity, and apply the effect on your files.